is an update and technical analysis on Ethereum. This is the daily chart here. I had mentioned it as a uh, short trade setup in my previous video around these ledges here. We'll call it, uh, I, you know, I had really mentioned the break of that 3060 level would uh, ensue some pretty big selling. And uh, we, we knocked my first target, we collected some profit. And uh, we hit that second target really to the bullseye here. That's exactly where bull stepped in. And if you took, it's good for a 25% drop here. And, uh, you know, you could play it the other way, swing trade it the other way um, for uh, another uh, day trade. And, uh, you know, you could have uh, swung it right back up to that first target for a 13% rally. Sell right there. And, uh, or if not, you know, done for that uh, secondary downtrend line, hit it, knocked it, reacted, reaction, came back up, broke it. And uh, we knocked that uh, primary downtrend line to the button got rejected there twice two days in a row and effectively we put it in a which called three black crow pattern where you have the open close you open off where you just closed knocked down again opened up again and you closed up again so um you know not the best aesthetically looking three black crow pattern but uh it's a, it's a pretty good decent looking one you know the bodies of the candles are not completely identical but uh this gives us another check mark because it looks very similar to one in terms of uh dictating the next trend change here and uh or next trend change could be uh to the downside and retest that 2317 we're truly at an inflection point right now it's the reason why i'm updating this video and here we have the uh 60 minute chart we had played this uh channel here yeah when we put that three inside up pattern i called a divergent low there we uh broke up rallied up against here then put a three inside down uh pattern and uh, that's where we start selling off and we never looked back since then um, but here we are we're in a secular uh looking uh triangle pattern here we broke out and here we are we got a gun for that 2630 if we can take out at uh, 2665 level we put in bullish and positive divergences now that are starting to form not a crossover yet we're looking for a crossover off that macd zero line and break above that zero line and see if we can gun for that uh 236 fibs and uh you know if you're bullish hey <clears throat> you know you could set some stops below here get stopped out you know below its previous lows for 2.4 percent drop and when you chase that one percent Chase that uh, 382 uh, FIPS for 5.6% uh, rally. Not that 0.5 for a 9.2% uh, rally. And that Q.618 FIPS for a 13% rally. So we'll see how it plays out. Here's the inflection point. If we do kind of uh, have a false breakout or we get rejected amongst this 236 FIPS. And uh, maybe we get rejected. Retest these lows. And if we break these lows, here's the neckline here. Um, this is the neckline that I added here and if uh, that breaks um, Not only that we could uh, potentially start to burn these positive divergences the other way get rejected at the zero line uh, On both uh, the oscillator and MACD and then uh, it'll get pretty bearish from there and we'll we'll probably hit the bottom of this uh, Zero fib retracement at 2476 um, I got it right here and uh, not only will we get that 2476, we'll test it. And if we break that, then uh, we'll definitely test that 2317 level once again. And if we take that out, here's my next target at that 2043 level if we do. Um, this is it. This is your inflection point. It's a good, you know, could be a good setup for a straddle or strangle. But um, yeah, see how you want to play it. And uh, I remain a little bit near term um bearish on this still and uh you know again i think we uh retest that 2317 only uh time will tell maybe i'm wrong we'll see if it happens we'll see if uh, bulls can take out these levels 50 day moving average alongside the primary and secondary downtrend lines and uh gun for that 3060 again keep you updated and uh see how it plays out